Hello, my name is Shannon, and in this screencast, I will be showing you how to add transitions smoothly and effectively in iMovie HD. To understand what I am talking about, you will need to have a Mac computer, have downloaded the iMovie HD application, and be somewhat familiar with the components of this application. So first, you will need to open the iMovie application. To do this, you can either click on the icon in the dock if you have placed it there, or you can navigate to Applications in the Finder window and click on iMovie HD. Next, you will need to open your iMovie project. From the File menu in iMovie, you can click on New to create a new project where you can name it whatever you like and save it wherever you like. Or, you can click on File and Open or open a recent project that you have been working on. When creating a new project, you can add your video clip into iMovie by either going to File, Import, or by simply dragging a clip from your desktop into the clip viewer screen. Then to add it into your movie, you click and drag it from the clip viewer screen into your movie timeline. You can also do this with audio in the audio viewer screen. Next, you will need to learn how to split the video clip at, the, at your desired point to add a transition in between. Transitions can only be added in between two clips, so you will need to begin by splitting the clip into two clips. To do this, play your movie and stop the playback at the desired point. You can also move the playhead by clicking and dragging on it. Then when you have the playhead where you want to split the clip, you can go to Edit, and then Split Video Clip at Playhead. Now that you know some of the basics, I'm going to show you how to add a transition. To add a transition, you are going to go to the iMovie toolbar, and you're going to click on Editing. After you click on Editing, you're going to go to the Editing toolbar, as you can see, it says Titles, Transitions, Video Effects, and Audio Effects. Here we are going to click on Transitions. As you can see, there are now a list of different transitions that you can click on. If you click on any of the transitions, it will show you a preview of what the transition looks like with the clips where your playhead is at in your movie. You can also adjust the speed of your transition in the Transition window. You will see a slider marked Speed where you can adjust the speed by either making it slower or faster. The speed of your transition can greatly affect the quality of your movie. This is because if it is too slow or if it is too fast, the transition can be ineffective. So play around with the speed of your transition in between your two clips to see what works for you. Next, once you've decided which transition you would like to put into your movie, you will insert the transition into the clip timeline. When you have chosen a transition and a speed, click the transition you want, hold down, and drag it in between the two clips that you desire your transition to be. When you're about to add the transition into your timeline, you will see a small red bar slowly moving to the right underneath the transition. This represents the time it takes to render the new piece of video generated by the transition. Next, you want to preview your video clip. You want to make sure the transition looks good by previewing your video clip. So as you can see, a transition has been added. You can adjust the transition speed again through the transition win window if desired. And you can press then press update to fix it and it will render again. Now that you know how to add a transition, I would like to show you two video clips. One that represents a bad transition and one that represents a good transition. First, here's the bad transition. So as you can see, this transition was ineffective of bringing both the clips together as one clip. Here is an example of a good transition.
As you can see with this use of a transition, the first clip runs smoothly with the second one. In conclusion, I hope this screencast was helpful in helping you figure out how to add transitions in iMovie HD. I also hope that you enjoy playing around with and learning more about this program.